I've noticed this painful bump on my leg a few days ago. It's red, swollen with some pus. I'm worried it might be a serious infection. Could be. It might be a staph skin infection, which is caused by a type of bacteria called Staphylococcus aureus, or staph. Lots of people carry it on their skin or in their nose without any trouble. Usually it's harmless. But if it gets into the skin through a cut, scrape, or insect bite, it can cause infection. How exactly did I get this? I mean, I don't remember hurting myself much. It can happen even with small breaks in the skin, maybe a small scratch you didn't notice. Other risks include having moist or sweaty skin for long periods, having skin conditions that damage the barrier such as eczema or dermatitis. Sharing personal items like towels, clothing, close contact with someone who has the infection, in crowded living conditions, and weak immune system. What are signs I should look for? Staph skin infections may look like a painful red lump or bump on the skin, skin sores that look like big pimples, hot, red, and swollen skin, open sore, crust or blister, and sore red eyelids or eyes. If this is death, what are the treatments? Most small staph infections can be treated at home. Sometimes a topical antiseptic medicines may be prescribed. Soak the infected area in warm water or put warm moist washcloths on it for 20 minutes each day. Try it with a clean towel. Only use each cloth or towel once and then wash it in soap and hot water and dry it thoroughly. Cover the skin with a clean dressing or plaster. Wash your hands for at least 20 seconds and dry them well before and after you clean the infected area. Don't scratch or touch the infected area. If you get a staph infection on the skin area that is usually shaved, stop shaving until the infection clears up. See your doctors for further treatments if it's not settling. This is the first time for me, but I want to make sure it doesn't happen again. What can I do? Recurrent staph infections are more common if you have broken skin from eczema and dermatitis. Treating the underlying skin conditions is the best way to prevent recurrent staph infections. Other things you can do to prevent recurrent staph infections are keeping your skin healthy, intact, and moisturized regularly. Maintain good personal hygiene like wash hands often, bath or shower regularly, especially after sweating. Don't share personal items, wash bed sheets, towels, clothing in hot water, ensure good drying. Clean services in your home that are quickly touched. That was so helpful. Follow Celine the nurse to learn more about your health.